bring on the dupes. I have 10 dupes for you today that I think you are going to absolutely love. These are really good, so stay tuned. We're gonna get into buy this, not that, cheaper and better, and drugstore dupes. Let's do this. Hello, my friends and welcome back to my channel i am so glad that you're here because i have been compiling a bunch of dupes i haven't done one of these for a little while i usually do them regularly but i haven't done this for a while so we're going to get into the dupes i'm going to put a timestamp right here where the dupes will actually start because lots of times you want to skip over the intro and it might be a little bit too long so that timestamp is right here if you'd like to skip ahead first of all i can show you my shirt this is so much fun this is a very lightweight shirt. It's over the shoulder, but you can pull it up if you'd like a little bit more modesty to it. It can be worn like that. I kind of like that it's over the shoulder. It's kind of a little bit more fun and my hubby likes it too. And I'm going to show you right here a full length of me. This is a three quarter sleeve with elastic on it and it just drapes really nice. I would say that it is a, just a tad bit small. It runs just a tad bit small. I wear a large normally and it's just a little bit tight around my tummy, I would say. So if you're going to get it, you might think about sizing up if you have the little menopausal tummy like I do. And also always, I like to share my jewelry with you. This is so fun. This is a freshwater pearl with some gold little hoops down here. I just thought that these were super fun. My rings that you see and my nail polish, you will see as we go along and I will link those and also I have a fun new bracelet that I'm really excited about. It's got a little heart and it has two different link styles on there. So that is my jewelry and all of that will be listed and linked down below. Speaking of links right here will come a number up on the screen screen scream as I am showing you the products. So I'll hold up a product and that number will come up right here and it will correspond to the product. So all you have to do is jot down the number or remember the number, go down into the description box. You'll find the number with the product next to it, my color, and the link if you'd like to shop that way. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. I'm so close to 100,000 and I'm really excited about getting there. So let's get into it so you can see the 10 dupes that I found at the drugstore. So the first one that I have is a primer. This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. When you see this or when you feel it, I guess I should say, it is an extremely lightweight primer, perfect for summer. It has a little bit of hydration in it. I can feel that as I, it goes across my skin and it really just sinks in very quickly. For me, the hydration is nice. It doesn't feel heavy on the dimethicone, which I absolutely love about it. It is very easy to work with. You don't feel like your makeup's going to slip off with it. And it doesn't really have a gripping property, but it really makes your makeup last longer because you're creating that barrier between your moisturizer and your foundation. And this one sinks in so well. And the other thing is it doesn't feel tacky after it sinks in, even though it does feel hydrating. So I feel like this is just a really fantastic primer. But then I remembered, you know what? I think I have something that is really close to it. This is the Rimmel lasting finish breathable primer and it says it has eight plus hour wear of makeup this one's been in my makeup stash for a very long time and i feel like this is almost a dead-on dupe it might be just a little bit thicker in the hydration area i don't mind that but it does sink in super quickly and that's what the laura mercier does as well so i feel like rimmel really did a good job with that the breathable part the whole entire thing it feels so much like it. Now the Laura Mercier one has already dried down. I'll give this one a few minutes to dry down and it will dry down the same way. They just are two really close primers that I've really fallen in love with the Laura Mercier, but I do feel like the Rimmel is as good and it feels so similar. And as I'm touching it again, it's drying down very quickly. So really nice primer, both of those, but I feel like the Rimmel, Rimmel because of its price is the better deal. Okay, the next one is from Westman at and I'm probably saying that completely wrong, but I was watching Lisa J in her video where she suggested things from Sephora, and this was one of them. And this one is the face trance contour stick and this one is in biscuit and this is a very creamy formula it's very 
lovely to work with. I actually don't paint this on my face. What I will do is I will put it on a brush and then I will blend it in. And as you can see, it's fairly light. It's one of their lightest colors, but this is just a beautiful, cool tone contour that I do have on today. I actually have these on either side. So hopefully you can maybe guess which is on which side, but I do love this product. It is really a beautiful product. However, these little sticks come with a very high price tag. I mean, this to me is one, this is a luxury item, not necessarily even a high-end item. And Westman, Westman Atelier has beautiful products, but so does Folklore. Now, these are two that I picked up. They come in a, a set. They come with the highlighter as well. So this one is called Mocha, and I'm going to stick these on either side of this, and you'll see the reason why. The formula on these is so much the same. I mean, it really truly is a very, very close formula. Now you can see that the Mocha one, it almost is the perfect color as Biscuit there, but I feel like the two of them kind of hit right in the middle in between it. So you have this other one right here. This one is a really light one. This is called Tortilla. And so I do feel like this one over here, the Mocha is a better dupe, but the two together would be spot on. But the formula on these are the exact same. And I do feel like this blends out and is every bit as beautiful. And I do actually feel like the Folklore almost has a better hue to it or a better tint to it. It's a little bit more on that muddy side, which is what a contour really should be. So I do love both of those products, but of course we're going to save a ton of money with the Folklore. The next one I'm super duper excited about. We're always trying to find the dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is a cult favorite. There are so many people that absolutely love this. They feel like it can't be duped. Personally, when you put something on underneath your makeup, I usually feel like, yes, it can be duped. And so I do like this. It makes a beautiful um, candlelight glow underneath your foundation. But I got sent very recently the Pixie by Petra Flawless Beauty Primer. And this is the Hydrating Glow Primer. And when I got this, I was immediately, I was like, oh my goodness, that's a Charlotte Tilbury dupe because you use so little of this to achieve the same as this. So the texture is almost identical in that how they go on. But the one from Pixie, I feel like it's a little bit less heavy. So for me in the summertime, it's gonna be a little bit better. It just seems to sink into the skin, but look at the glow on both of them. Just beautiful glow. It's gonna give you that beautiful lit from within canvas underneath your makeup. And I felt like both of them are beautiful, but how much money we're gonna save again with the Pixie. I think this is about half the price. So the next one is from Ilia. I'm really kind of falling in love with Ilia in that they are just a simplistic brand where they're a clean brand, but they also think they also go for kind of almost a minimalistic view of makeup, but their formulas are gorgeous. So this is a stick blush and this one is called At Last and it is so pretty. It is this mauve um, just a beautiful wash of mauve tone color, very rose toned, very um, on the bluish side instead of on the orangish, orangish side of the spectrum for blushes. I really love it. But when I saw this and I watched it and I tried it, I was like, I think e.l.f. Multi-Stick in Sparkling Rose could be it. So I had three of these out. And when I, when I swatched the e.l.f. one, it was like, that's the one. That's the one that's going to be just like it. And I knew immediately that it was going to be so close. Now, I'll tell you the, the differences in them. Is that the Ilia one is quite a bit more... Um, creamy or not really even creamy. You can almost tell that it has a little bit of a sheen. That's because this one is a little bit more matte. And so that is a little bit more satin. It's going to have, it's going to blend out to be a little bit more of a really soft wash to it. And yet when you blend out the one from e.l.f., you're going to get that same soft wash. Now, personally, I appreciate the one from e.l.f. because it does have a little bit more of the pigment to it. Same exact color, just a little bit more pigmented. And it seems like it lasts a little bit longer as I'm wearing it. So I love both of these. Which side is which? I don't know if you can tell or not, but I do have these on. And I just really think that they're gorgeous. 
both of them, but you're saving a huge amount of money between the two of these. All right, let's just stay with the blush because Bare Minerals very recently came out with the bronzers, which is supposed to be a bronzer blush combo. It's not. It's just a really pretty blush that has a bit of a sparkle in it or a bit of a sheen in it. And they are so beautiful. And you can tell right there that that blush is just one of those ones that it just has this creamy factor. It's just a pretty, pretty blush. They did send me this, which shocked me. I couldn't believe I was on Bare Minerals radar. I was just like absolutely blown away. So I really do love this. I love the tone of it. They have, I think, two more that really weren't my tone because this one was almost getting into a coral color, but it's pretty as well. And then I was like, the feel of it, how it performed, everything reminded me so much of the Milani blushes, which the plastic fell out of the top of this one, which is the Berry Amour. But I will show you both of these because you're going to see that they both kind of look like they are really close as far as the color. They have this satin cast to them or this satin sheen to them. And that's what really drew me in. And I was like, okay, these are really pretty. And then this one is Petal Primavera. Let's get a clean finger. This is Petal Primavera. And the two of them on either side, you can tell that Petal Primavera is the one that has the best match. And it's the one that I used as either side. So what I did was I put the Ilia on and then, well, I actually put a highlighter on that I'm gonna show you in a minute. But then I put the Ilia on just very lightly. And then I tapped a little bit of this over top and I just think that the blush is so pretty. So it, this is a definite yes on these as far as a dupe, as far as texture. I would say maybe the Bare Minerals has a little bit more pigment to it than these, but you can build these up very, very easily. And for the cost, it's huge, a huge difference on those. So I just told you about the um, highlighter that I have on. And this is, I always say this wrong. It's probably wrong when I, it's Sai, I think that's how you say it, or Sai or something like that. Anyway, this is a new, very interesting formula from them for a highlighter. And I will show you the color here in just a second when I get my glasses on. But you need so very little of this to be built up. And then you've got this beautiful wash of lavender pink across your skin. It's just so gorgeous. Let me pop my glasses on and I will tell you what this is called as far as a color. It might say fair on it. I'm not 100% because my eyes aren't that great, but you can see that it has this little cast of just a little bit lavender. Lavender is so brightening on the skin for anybody that's fair. And you can tell that today I definitely have that super brightening effect on my face. Well, Again, you guys know that I'm such a super shock shadow or super shock formula from ColourPop Fiend. I love these. They're beautiful. This is one of the highlighters and this one is in Spellbound. I love these because they are just this incredible cream to powder formula and you can see right there that if you had those on, it would be hard to tell which was which. So Spellbound is over here and then the Sai however you say that, is over here. So definitely a dupe, but you're saving so much money. I prefer this formula. The, the high-end one, that I can't say the name of, is a little bit thicker. So I felt like I had to work with it just a little bit more. And then the ColourPop one is really thin. It just lays down very easily. I just, I've always loved this formula and I will pick this formula up over just about anything else, it, whether it's the shadows or the blushes or these. I just think they're outstanding. The next one was hard because you guys know how much I love Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. It's just one of those eyeshadow primers that came along and I haven't used hardly anything else, but I keep trying because I want to make sure that I'm always bringing you the very best. I feel like this is a, an, an okay value. It's not like um, got a ton of product in there, but you need so very little that this tube is gonna last you forever. You can see how creamy that is, how opaque it is. It takes out any discoloration and this makes not only your, your shadow last, but your eyeshadow is gonna just pop. So, like I said, I keep trying, I keep you know, f looking for ones, but I haven't found anything that I like as much as that until I tried the Jason Wu eyeshadow primer. And this one, you can get at Target. Um, I had to order mine because none of my targets around me carry it at all. I think this one is in light and you can tell that there again, there is that high pigment that's going to 
hide all of your imperfections and it's going to make your eyeshadow pop and last all day they're both very matte so if you sweat on your eyelids it's going to not let you know any of that sweat come through your eyeshadow is going to be there all day and that's what i love about them all right next i'm pretty darn excited about and that is because i absolutely love all of the 24-7 liners from Urban Decay. I love the colors. They stay on me so well. But this is called Deep End, and it's a beautiful teal color. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's just one of those ones that it's got a little bit of metallic in it, and it just is a gorgeous color lining the eyes and kind of brightening up that eye. But this one from LA Girl is called the Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner eyeliner and this one is it's identical i could not tell the difference if i had that on and you know anybody walked in the room they wouldn't be able to tell what the difference in the two were so this was a really fun find for me and the la girl does seem to last longer I was really shocked at that. So I am in the market to find some more of these and to test them and see how much I like them. As a matter of fact, I was thinking about going to Ulta and doing that today. Again, this is the ultimate liner from LA Girl. I feel like this is such a good dupe. This one could not be more perfect if I had made it in the lab to be this inside of this tube. It's just so good. You'll love it. Next is a buxom lip gloss that I think is absolutely beautiful. This lip gloss is one of the ones that has a little bit more of the pigment in it. And what I love about this is it's my granddaughter's name. <laughs> This is called Gabby, but what I do like about it the most is that it does have a little bit more pigment to it than their others do. I love this gloss. It just is a really beautiful, almost a plum color. And of course, you can see that high shine on there. Just fantastic. I think it's so pretty. This next one is 09. That's the color it says it is, but it's from Sephora. And it is the Sephora Outrageous Plumping Lip Glosses. I love these lip glosses. If I could have a formula with a billion different colors in it, it would be this. I really love both of these glosses, but I think that I like the formula in the Sephora one better. And it's not just because it's more less expensive. I feel like it wears a little bit better throughout the day. It lasts a little bit longer, but I also feel like it is a little bit of a different tingle to my lips with that. The Buxom one is almost like um, Carmex. You guys remember Carmex when we used to wear it? This one isn't the same fragrance as that. This one is a little bit different. You can see in the tube right here that it's so close. So definitely, if you've been thinking about grabbing the Buxom one, this one is such a good substitute for it. And there is a little bit more in the tube of the Sephora one than there is in the Buxom, even though it looks bigger. Sometimes that's just an illusion that we get from the makeup companies. So this is a really good dupe. And then lastly is the one from Huda Beauty. And this is her liner. And I love this liner. I love it because it's super creamy. This is called M Muted Pink. This is her Lip Contour 2.0 in Muted Pink. And I think that this color is just so pretty. It's what I have on today with a little bit of lipstick on top of it um, from the Sephora collection, which will all be listed down below. But this is the muted pink is just a beautiful mauve very pretty almost lilac color and i love it and i was again searching for a dupe because i wear this one all the time and this one is from rimmel and it is their exaggerate full color lip liner and this one is in oh goodness addiction now i love how they did these the the um huda beauty one is an automatic one that will roll up but what i love about this one is that it has that slanted edge to it it. And so it always feels like it's giving me a very precise line, which I think is fantastic because I have a hard enough time trying to get those on my lips. Now, again, the Huda might be just a tiny bit lighter, but personally, I like the Rimmel one because of its consistency is the exact same. The formula feels the exact same way. I do feel like the Rimmel one lasts a little bit longer throughout the day than the Huda because the Huda is just a tiny bit more creamy. So if you like the creamy, you might go for the Huda Beauty one. But I also feel like the color, you can't tell because I did the same thing. I have one on one side and the other on the other side. So it's just so pretty. And these both perform beautifully, but we're talking a huge price point difference. So 
can you tell which one is which on my face and which one I have as high end and which one is the drugstore dupes that I wore everything here today? Well, this side is the high end and this side is the drugstore. So I hope that you did enjoy seeing these dupes. I had so much fun finding them for you. I know that dupes are a video that everybody just loves and I don't want to exhaust that, but I do feel like there are so many good things at the drugstore that get overlooked that we definitely can replace for those luxury and those high-end items. So if you do like dupes, please give this video a thumbs up. Again, don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And right now over here, I am going to show you another dupes video that I hope that you do enjoy. I will put that up on the screen. Click on there as we're heading out today. I hope everybody is doing really well, happy, healthy. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you in my very next video. Love you much. Bye friends.